Hi, Earth Signs. Welcome to your weekly reading. Every week I do a um, an update of what's going on between you and your partner. Whatever kind of soul connection you have, most of us are calling it a twin flame relationship. And it's really amazing the different energies that are coming through uh, as I do readings. Uh, it's really cool. So, as I do each week, it's on the main side is going to be you and your partner where we're going to look at all those main messages. I will give advice based on those main messages. And then on the Vimeo side, we're going to look even more in depth and we're going to see a little further extension of that initial main messages with the detail. Look for blockage and an opportunity for an outcome if the advice is followed. So we're going to start this off with you on the top, and then we'll pull a card for your partner on the bottom. Okay. Now for you, we have compromise. And this is really a lovely energy because it's, it's knowing how much to give based on what we get back. So this in compromise, oftentimes the person who is more aware of the spiritual connection tends to not be allowed to compromise. Their partner is not willing to compromise. So we give too much. So this is all about learning the art of compromise, give and take, ebb and flow, equal reciprocity, right? Agreeing to disagree. And then for your partner, we have practical twin flame. So this is a more grounded energy or way they're feeling about themselves. I'm hearing this is like a practical grounded energy within them. Now, it can also indicate they're being very earthy. They're being very stubborn, right? <laughs> Absolutely, it can do that. So let's go a little further. I want to see what this compromise is about and how it blends in with that practical twin flame. So they may be more focused on their material possessions right now and not focused on healing, not focused on their emotions. But we're going to see as we go forward. So for you, we have the Nine of Cups. This is wish being granted. This is all about happiness and joy, emotionally feeling satisfied with decisions, with choices in our life, and celebrating with people that we have real love for, family, friends, whoever it is. It can also indicate drinking for some, overindulging, um, uh, parting. But what I'm hearing for you is this is your joy. This is your happiness. This is what you want. And it is really taking a long time. The Knight of Pentacles. This could be you overindulging. So we don't want that. Learn to compromise. Meaning instead of two drinks, you have one a week, etc. Right? We already know how to do that within ourselves. It's doing it with the person that we're involved with. And so when we're looking at your partner's energy, I'm saying I get the feeling they're feeling very earthy, very stuck, okay, very stubborn, which is creating a lack of compromise. And it's just very slow moving energy in order to get anywhere toward your happiness for some of you. Some of it is based on them, but the majority of you, it's your healing process. Now, some of you might be stuck and I'm going to look further as we continue. It's going to really uh, spell this out. Slow moving toward your happiness or that's the way you're feeling. Now, your partner's energy at this time. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups, this is when they were stuck 
in the past. They were stuck on a past person, a past relationship. This could be every everything. They were not focused. See, these cups are, are dumped over, so there's no love there. But there was a lot of sorrow, a lot, because they, it was a loss for them. The love is gone, so they're feeling a sense of sadness. Now, in the traditional tarot, for example, this other one, these two cups would be upright, meaning the love is still there for the soul connection they lost what they had in the past but they still have love with them because they're dumped over they are feeling regret right now they feel that you walked away you may have went off to find your joy your happiness and just walked away they weren't willing to compromise they're being stubborn and stuck in this place of regret now we have the Four of Swords next to it, which is, this is part of the healing process. They really have been stuck in a, I'm seeing a mental prison, ruminating thoughts over and over again, just really feeling stuck and stagnant. Absolutely. Focused on other things and definitely not paying attention to their heart to their feelings, to their emotions. They don't want to feel. So this could even be them overindulging and you saying, look, we, you need to compromise this. Hiding their feelings, masking it. They don't want to feel. They don't want to feel anything. But they are. They are. And that's part of that healing process. So this is actually forward movement in a sense because it is part of the healing that regret the loss over the the connection like i said the two of cups right so this is that beautiful partnership the two of you have and some of you may actually have telepathic communication right now or you have this is all about the two of you healing issues between you to reopen or the option to re open love between the two of you it's a love hate kind of situation right now bittersweet right love i love you but i hate what's going on it's just taking forever for you to get your perfect partner and you could be very much stuck in your head okay and those of you where i said telepathic communication that keeps you up at night as well you have conversations with them you see each other you're talking to each other in your dream state sometimes in other past lives where we look different but we know it's them you are worried about forward movement for some of you most definitely about this soulmate connection you do have happy fond memories but some of you what i'm hearing is you're thinking they don't probably because they're shut down there's been no communication whatsoever in quite a long time they're not giving me a time frame they're saying it's been a long time this is a beautiful opportunity you get that so you're stuck in your head they don't want to compromise they don't want to see you they don't want to talk they are shut down in their process it, it it's it's hard it makes us feel worried anxious that's ruminating thoughts over and over and over again waking up because of the spiritual awakening process waking up at 3 15 3 18 every single morning so your partner we do have the king of pentacles Remember, I said they're not focused on love. They're not focused on feelings or healing. They don't want to feel anything right now. They're probably focused on their career, the practical side of them, the very earthy, materialistic side of them. The King of Pentacles can be really wonderful at running their own business or running a company. This is a person who is usually viewed as very successful. They like the finer things in life. They're focused on rebuilding their financial world. Whoever, whatever they lost, everything, and they're healing over that, they're rebuilding as they're doing it, as we all have to. But they're very 
money driven and they are uh, in a state right now of being very egotistical so I see that they've actually got money they have money and they're flaunting the money they're the one that when everybody goes to lunch at work they pay for it right for the whole group of people they like to be applauded in that way now the ace of swords is all about truthful communication this is a brand new beginning based in authenticity earth signs this is all about you as you heal and release all that ick all the negative aspects of situations and people that we've dealt with throughout our entire life. It brings us to our authentic self. So you're getting ready to make some significant changes, but you're very focused right now. And that is part of your authenticity. You like having the grounded, stable um, uh, um, reserve financially in all areas of life you like having that backup so to speak and that's what you're working on that is okay there's absolutely nothing wrong with it so when they're done with this healing process you'll hear from them eventually but what we want to do now is i'm going to pull a romance angel card or signs because i want to see how both of you are regarding Yeah, you're you're just you're slow in yours. Yeah, because of unrequited love. There's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. What this card really means is that right now is not the right time. Is there going to be a right time? If there is, it'll come back around. So it doesn't mean it's lost forever, but definitely you are feeling this connection is lost and your partner's not willing to compromise they don't want to talk they don't want to open up they don't want to speak truthful communication because they're focused on trying to bury and hide their pain through work through rebuilding their their self so let's see what the romance angel says for your partner in regard to this soul connection separation Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for those of you who are in communication, which I don't see there's many of you, you're getting ready to have that break in the communication. Most of you, you are already in because the, the group that I'm seeing is already in separation because it is part of the process. That's how we heal, okay? When we are not in communication, we get very much in our thought process. We think about the connection over and over again. Replaying, what did I say wrong? Did I say something? Did I do something? Why won't they tell me? Are they in a relationship? Oh my gosh, how did they move forward? All of these things, we think about all this stuff and it's part of the separation. And then we begin to heal. And then we begin to see things very clearly. So what we're going to do right now, Earth Signs, if you like this video, please thumbs up and share and subscribe to the channel. If you like my uh, style, that's what helps keep this channel up and going. And for those of you where this really does sound like a uh, your situation, we're going to look at Vimeo. We are looking. All the earth signs are here. We've got earth strong. We've got air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have all the elements here except for action, except for fire elements. No fire at this point. So there's no action being taken. The air sign is in the thought process rather than the communication. So if this sounds like you, you want to look further, you can click the link below and join me on Vimeo and I will see you on the other side. Much love.